पूरा गोरा रंग तेरा गारा गारा दिल नहीं राह जन राह या ना लुट लेना दिल नहीं तेरे लिए खटिया में जग जारा since I'm the catch, I have to take care of another man's children forever. <laughs> Why not just start my own family? True. What well, the women see me as a catch and she wants to be with me for me. But see. What are your thoughts on that? That was a little bit heavy. We're getting real deep, yeah. yeah I thought so. that was a little heavy. So real deep. <laughs> <laughs> That's on surface level, guys. Deep. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Overdose, the podcast about red pill content shown to people that's not too familiar with red pill content. Today, we have a special guest. Introduce yourself. Hey, guys. I'm Melanie Miranda. All right. Now, are you familiar with red pill content? I just became familiar from mm -hmm. you, of mm -hmm. course. <laughs> so do you have a grasp of what it is or no? Uh, somewhat. Do you know where it come from? I don't know where it comes Have from. you ever seen the movie The Matrix? I've seen The Matrix, yeah. Yeah, so you, you remember the part where, oh, you might not remember, but there was a part in the movie where Morpheus was like, either you take the, the blue pill or the red pill. The red pill is, represents like truth. You're going to understand everything oh. or whatever. Blue pill represents like ignorance. Okay. You remember that part or you don't? <laughs> Not really. It got you. It's okay. Been, it's been years. <laughs> no, I got you. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so red pill is just like the truth. So I get, I think, I know this. Red pill means you're awake. You're woke. Yes. 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 And blue pill means that you're kind of dead and you're following like a sheep. Or yes, whatever, yes, right? Yes. True nature of men and women in relations to like life, love, sex, and relationships, stuff like that. Okay, okay? cool. All right. So today video, we're going to do Steph is Code. Why women want, well, I'm sorry. Why, why women want when you want it too late? What are your thoughts when you just, when you hear that? My thoughts when I hear that, it's... Yeah, why women want you when it's too late? Just, I don't know, I feel like it's just usually what ends up happening, sadly. Okay, why? Why do you think that? Why do you think that's, that's what happens? Um, you just don't know what you have until, you know... It's gone? Until it's gone. That is true. Um, it happens everywhere, especially when you're young, yeah, right? People don't value things that when they're older they realize that's very important but then like i kind of think that well you know what you had your chances in it mm. so it's not really fair but um you know especially these women who yeah. had a bad past yeah they <laughs> let me not go to let, <laughs> let's watch the video <laughs> but you know what i mean right <laughs> okay do you think that happens on both sides equally or one is a little bit more than the other I think it happens on both sides. Okay. I feel like everybody takes their turn mm -hmm. okay. at some point in their life, and then, you know, you figure it out. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, let's jump into the video and see what you got to say. YouTube, what it do? It's your boy, Steph. So, I got to make sure I'm going to speak on today. So, we're going to dive into it, okay? Um, make sure you guys follow me on. He said, uh, instead of women, instead of shaming women for what they want, why don't men learn from women about their needs, then learn how to meet these needs? Also, instead of shaming men for what they want, why don't women learn from men about their needs, then learn how to meet those needs? It's hmm. an oxymoron, bro. It's an oxymoron. It contradicts itself. From birth, what have we, what, what has it been instilled in us? And, and and just in our faces since birth women need protection security they need a husband they need somebody that's going to provide for them and their and their the, the children they need um somebody that's going to love them they need someone that is going to be there for them emotionally and stuff like that a nice guy and it's like when when you when you do you know what's funny is that we're in 2020 and yet people don't know what people want Mm. Man and women don't know what they really want. Mm. And how many years have we been on this planet? I mean, like, not me, yeah. but <laughs> yeah, loads of years, millions of years, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. yeah, yeah, people don't know that. Mm. The basic stuff. It's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. Come with that energy. They don't want that. <laughs> so it's a contradiction. It's like, how can you say you want something, but when I bring that to you, you go to the opposite guy for whatever reason. Hmm. I see you over there shaking your head and stuff. What are your thoughts so far? 
So, I feel like it's just like just ingrained in us, like mm-hmm. from when we're young, that this, these are the things that we we're supposed to want. Mm-hmm. And not that those are bad things, but I don't think we necessarily realize what that means. Okay, bring it down. <laughs> bring it down. Yeah, just. I think people just want to play, and when they want to set it down, they want the best. That's what it is. I, you know, I. That's what I think. But um, let's see what she has. Just actually going through it and being in that relationship and realizing that the other person has needs too. It's not just one sided. Mm-hmm. Um, and even if they are giving all of that to you, is that really what you need at the time, or is that just something that's been instilled? Okay. In your- Do you feel like? Maybe logically you want a nice guy, um, someone that's going to be there for you, you know, loyal, et cetera, et cetera. But maybe like on a primal level, you want like a kind of like an asshole just to make it like a general statement. I I wouldn't say that. Okay. What would you say? I just think that it takes time to really realize what it is that you want and being able to communicate that in a way where you're both getting what you need. Okay. No, you just have to watch it in someone else and you just realize what you, you know what you want. Because when you see your friends dating bad boys, you kind of know from them, isn't it? <laughs> Don't do that. And then when your mom tells you and your sister tells you, you know, you've got friends telling you. I mean, like, everyone's telling you. It's just right in front of you. You choose to do that. You choose to do that. And I think because you want to learn a lesson. That's what it is. You... You're kind of attracted to bad things because sometimes I feel like people don't feel like they deserve any good thing good. But it's not, you know, it's not logical. Mm. Love is not logical, you know. Um, yeah, so I, 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 don't, I don't quite agree with what she's saying because, you know. I feel I just... like what she's saying, it doesn't make any sense as well. And I think she's just disagreeing with the fact. But from a man's perspective, right, I see it this happening all the time where the girl says, oh, she wants that Prince Charming, this and that, right? But when it comes down to it, she she has that right next to him, but she she makes him the side man and then goes for the guy that treats her, yeah. that has that power that makes her feel like oh he he can he can let her know what time it is. Do you know what I mean? So he's he's not afraid to if she's um, misbehaving or something to let her know that hey you got stuff that you can't that can't run with yeah. me. Do you know what I mean? But then the guy that it's been installed in the woman's brain yet yeah, to go after uh, the the person that's gonna be nice to you this and that right the girls automatically get put off or bored from that guy. So I feel like what she's saying personally for me, right, is just that she's just trying to make an excuse from the truth. Because I feel like, yeah, she's the type of girl, yeah, that would have done this exact same. She had a nice guy probably, but would have went for the guy that would have been like, for example, university would have been like the so-called arsehole. Do you know what I mean? I think she's saying what most girls will be um, saying, like most girls like hair will be saying yeah yeah because saying. oh yeah you know what the feminist you know you have to say that this is so you know <laughs> so she doesn't want to upset anybody yeah no, you gotta understand about girls when you'd like they have to it's like they have to be like no one's gonna tell the truth complete yeah. truth no because no one wants to hear the complete truth no one besides that man that video right now <laughs> yeah let's carry on okay yeah all right and then you tend to later on in life, when you're um, done doing what you want to do, and when you come to your senses, even though you already have senses, but you just wanted to have fun, but you can't let us know that because most beta males and most blue pill guys will shame shame women for that. So you can't let us know that, but we know why you're doing what you're doing. So pretty much you want us to wait around while, you, while your best years, you're getting dug out, your value is decreasing, and then we you want us to wait around. I see you over there laughing. It's, what, what's going through your What's going through your mind right now? I don't think that is fair. Okay. Um, I can see why you're saying you know it's just to have fun and all these things, but mm-hmm. I I think it's. I think I know what he's saying. Nobody wants a uh, damaged goods. <laughs> I mean, seriously, no one wants that. If you've been like playing around a lot, your value does go down because you're like a flower that's been picked on. Yeah. <laughs> and, and who wants that? <laughs> <laughs> Even I don't want a guy who's been doing it a lot of. Because um, it's like, ugh, how many STDs do you have in your body? <laughs> no, seriously, it's. I know what he's talking about. 
more, I think it's more about women trying to find themselves and exactly what they want, what they need. Okay. Uh, I don't know. You can find yourself without sleeping around or playing around. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. You can find yourself. I'm always finding myself, but I don't have to deal with those things. I just have to read a book. <laughs> I think it's just more than, oh, they just want to have fun and mm -hmm. their so, value is so. decreasing. And, like, I don't know. I think it's just pushing it a little too far just because they're not ready for that relationship yet. So you're saying, so basically what you're saying is you, they shouldn't be ashamed to explore life, have new experiences and try to find out what, you, what they yeah, want Yeah, because ultimately you can explore life, but the thing is, right, um, it comes with a cost. With everything, you pay cost to it. You pay a price. There's a saying that you pay a price. So when you're exploring life, it depends how you go about doing it. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, yeah, you can explore life. Oh, I need to find my soulmate and, and be with different guys, right? But that comes with a cost. Because you might meet that right, uh, right guy and he's be like, no, you've been with like hundreds of guys. Yeah. So I don't want yeah, you. Yeah, because exactly. he's looking for one special girl yeah. who, who's not been around. You know? yeah. I think at the end of the day, there's a appeal for like pure girls because... Where there's so many people, girls exploring themselves, no guy, you know, trust them 100%. enough. And the reason why um, I know that for a fact as well, um, why the value decreases as well, is because you know that part when a woman decides to give consent to have sexual intercourse yeah. with a man, right? She's giving him the uh, one of the highest things that she has. Yeah. So once that's now taken, that value of hers is is dropping. That's why um, in our culture we emphasize so much why marriage is so important. Yeah, because I, of that specific thing. And I was just thinking, you know, why don't parents like sort of when someone becomes eighteen, they just team them up with somebody like a soulmate, and the for the rest of your life you're stuck with that person. I think that could work, you know. I, I think that would like you know. Yeah. But obviously, the, um, it has to be a good choice. <laughs> Unfortunately, the world doesn't work like that. But yeah, yeah. so. Um, People don't, don't know that when they get into situations like that, exploring it, you realize that you kind of energetically take on other people's issues as well. So whatever, when you meet the right guy, you don't like, you kind of act, you know, remember you've just been with several other men here, so yeah. you've taken on their crap and so you're going to bring that crap to the table as well. You're yeah. not like a fresh, clean slate kind That's of. That's what I mean. And I know a lot of people in today's day, right, that say, oh, they're proud about their body count. I don't know if you heard that reference, but body count means that, that mean? how many bodies they've been with. So meaning how many um, they how many people they slept with. Um, so that's that's what they, they count as a body count because they had that body. No, it does. That's not good. It's not good. It's not good. And now, and now by the, my by my age now, yeah, age of twenty three, right? We've we have um, people that have over thirty body counts already. No, no, no! Don't come near me. <laughs> <laughs> don't come near. <laughs> Right, I know. <laughs> that, that's wrong. I mean, that's not. It's mad, isn't it? That's unhealthy. It's going to make them the person that they need to be for the right person that they're going to be with, you know? Okay. Okay. Gotcha. No, I got you. Um, the North Pole and the South Pole. By the <laughs> <laughs> and, and hopefully we land a good wife or a good girl one day. It's an oxymoron. It doesn't exist. Not in today's age. And then they say, well, how come women need to learn about men? They don't care about us like that until it's too late. All right? They don't care about us like that, fellas, until it's too late. That's why I try to tell y'all. The moment you hit about 30, 35, you're in your prime, you realize how many options you pick and choose from that you really don't even want to deal with no shit. <laughs> that's no age. That's your age because she has kids by another man. And I'm, I'm gonna say this, bro, because I'm just gonna point out. I find it so funny um, yeah. when people have kids, yeah, yeah. and they're still looking for the true love. <laughs> you had kids. Come on, man. <laughs> you're, you're like, oh, you're gone. <laughs> Sorry, not to be rude, but I, I just find it so funny. And then when they're months. fifty with grandchildren, they're still find, trying to look for true love. I mean, like, the time you gotta, time. yeah, it's, just be a widow, enjoy that, or you know, like, I find it so weird when I have to listen to really older people talking about finding true love. I'm like, it doesn't look good when you're younger and you're like, oh, is this what I have to look forward to? <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, is this what I'm going to be like? Yeah. <laughs> everyone's a role model in this world so what they're showing is not really exactly um attractive people be like man what's wrong with women with kids because 
as you as a man not having kids and you know a responsibility that takes you know what kind of emotional stress that puts a woman through and a family through why would I as a man want to take care of another man's seat I exactly it's true yeah, it's so actually, true actually yeah because um, cause I'm I wouldn't kidding. date a man with nothing. Like, so woman. imagine me, right? Like, how how would you feel, yeah, if I wanted to go with a woman who has like two kids already? How would I feel? Um, no, <laughs> no, yeah, sorry, yeah. you're going to go with a girl has no kids. Yeah, see. Yeah, I, I, yeah, it's just it's it's nice to keep the family. I know blended family are in these days, but it's nice to keep things like, you know, to be rare to stand out. Like have have the fam idealistic family, you know, the yeah. one that everyone craves, but no, people don't can't have that because they're just confused yeah. and yeah. After I put all these years in to improve, to to work on myself, to get better, and now I'm this 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 guy. I'm the catch. Now I have to since I'm the catch, I have to take care of another man's children you forever. <laughs> Why not just start my own family? True. Well, the women see me as a catch and she wants to be with me for me. But see. What are your thoughts on that? That was a little bit heavy. We're getting real deep, yeah. yeah I thought so. that was a little heavy. So real deep. <laughs> <laughs> That's on surface level, guys. Deep. <laughs> I'll be back so, I don't think he's wrong for feeling the way he's feeling. Mm hmm. I but, heard a butt coming. <laughs> but you just don't say those things because you never know what do you the mean? circumstances, who you're going to meet, mm -hmm. if you're going to end up falling for that person, and they have a child, mm. you know? Okay. No, because if you feel to the people with kids already, you when you meet them, you'll be like, nah, <laughs> already. Yeah. You've filtered them out already. And I also say something, what she's saying there about whatever happened, because if a man is... Um, fully alpha as, as that man in that video right? yeah. it do doesn't matter he's never no gonna he's not going to that. do that no. he'll give you money for charity you know, to help the you know the poor family you know the mother with the kid but he's, he's, but never, he's never, never going to settle down with you no he'd yeah he'll do it with you yeah 100% yeah because you're available but um, yeah she's stupid I mean like <laughs> she's no but I, I from from what I, the way I'm watching this here, she's been very careful with her words because I know that she doesn't want to get like backlashes and stuff mm. like that so she's 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 not actually being honest completely um, she's having to be quite um, considerate I think and what made me um kind of laugh as well when you when you said when they said you're oh, we're getting kind of heavy now and you say this is service level this is service level this is not heavy heavy you don't know what heavy is honey <laughs> this is this is not this deep is, this is basic to us is basic it's like, this is basic generic. this is like so generic um yeah you know jokes yeah we live on different planets <laughs> okay it, you can say it all you want, and then when that actually comes, it's like, are you really gonna turn that person away just because they have yes have a child with somebody else? <laughs> yes. Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> yes. No. Yes. yes. I mean, <laughs> if, what, if everything else is perfect, the feelings are there. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter. Feelings can come and go. You know. Yeah, At the end of the day, yeah, it's not just about love. It's about actually, you know, relationships requ requires a lot of effort and work. So. It's not just love. You can love anybody. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> you can, you know, but it does. You might not work out here yeah? because you got to think about our things. Do you guys have peaceful relationship? Can you guys can see future together? Do you know what I mean? It's not just a love. What she's talking about is called um, lust. Lust fluctuation. Yeah, fl yeah. just kind of like oh, I like that person. Yeah, it's love. It's, it's just it's, it's just greedy feelings. You know, mm. selfish, uh, yeah. fleshy feelings. Yeah. That's just, um, yeah, it's not love. Love is different. Love is like, would you give your soul to someone, you know, just um, give your kidney to somebody, you know, <laughs> to keep them alive. That's, well, that's one kind of love. But what she's talking about is surface level love. Yeah. Is that really? Well, I, I will give some pushback because obviously there are literally billions of people in the world, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, it's going to be similarities between people that you're going to meet in life. So for instance, let's say this perfect person that you said, they have whatever standards that you think are perfect, right? So literally, the other, you could find someone with those exact same standards or someone that's even close to those standards, but just does not have a kid or does not have 
debt or doesn't have whatever thing that might hinder you in the future, if that makes any sense. Basically, I, th I think the pushback I would give is you will have more options, so why not explore or get the best option? So you're saying just push it off and wait? I wouldn't say push it off, but, but obviously you have a set of standards. You built, like he said, you built your, he built yourself up to be this dope person, have money, you don't have kids, etc. So why would you go for someone who does have kids or does have et cetera, et cetera, et cetera? I'm asking. I just don't think it's a choice all the time. Okay, gotcha. I think you meet people in different ways. Mm -hmm. um, and it just, it doesn't always work out as you plan. And gotcha. so I think that he's just planning for this perfect person. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, you, you might find that, but okay. there's still going to be some, if it's not kids, it's still going to be something that I think that you're going to have to be like, I have to have some leeway because nobody is perfect. No, I agree with that. What, what leeway, I'm, I'm sorry, what standards do you have that's like set in stone standards? Or do you have any set in stone standards? I mean, not, obviously I have some, but okay. nothing too crazy. I just want, you know, someone that's going to be hardworking, goal-driven, because I'm really goal-driven. Mm -hmm. um, someone that wants to provide for their family. Okay. You know, just the... the so normal. you don't have, like, hard things, like they have to be, I don't know, 6'1 or 6'6. Six, six. <laughs> She's lying. <laughs> I'm a girl and I know that if she was talking to a friend, she'll only have a list of things that she wants here. Yeah. And you know something, yeah? she will not date a man with tons of kids. She will not, like, you know, unless he's wealthy. I'm telling you from a girl's point of view, yeah, right? Well, she's saying that, oh no, you kind of, you know, what happens if you fall in love? No. As a girl, I know that she's lying. She is, she, and you can see by her. Yeah, the, she's the lying. The tension on her face feels like yeah, she's really holding back. She's holding back yeah, because she can't, because she's scared of getting backlashes from people, you know, people judging her. But the thing is, everyone's going to judge Regardless, people. Yeah. You're going to judge me. I'm going to judge you too. <laughs> But you know what? Um, yeah, so like, it, it's like we live in this world here, yeah, like, but she's just been very careful mm. because, you know, like, I think I she's quite a sensitive like person. So the, well, you know? Yeah, I feel that as well, but I feel like her carefulness is just making it sound like... It's a fake. She's a liar. It's, a, she's not, it's, it's not a benefiting her in this situation. No, it's someone not. that comes from the red pill side as well, it doesn't benefit. No, she's she seems kind of like I just quite feel like scared. I just feel like personally, if you and her were put together, you I won't be a friend. No, no, I, I'll just say nice hair, <laughs> <laughs> turn around and hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, whatever. Or they have to make I don't know a hundred thousand dollars a year. You don't have anything that's like hard set in stone things. I would, the only hard set thing is you have to love what you're doing in your okay. life. That's, that's really a big one. You can't just be doing something for money or, mm -hmm. I don't know, for other people. That's one, thing I, that's one thing I agree with what she's saying. You have to do things that you love. So it important. has to be for you. Okay. Know. So, so you open to people with kids, people with not kids, someone that's a little bit more overweight than... I will say, when I you know, started uh, uh, dating, I wasn't really open to the kid idea. So uh, let me just guess that. She's allowed to have a choice, but when a man wants a woman without kids, he's not allowed to have that choice. Mm. That's a bit of, you know... Because I know, I'm a girl, and I know that when I talk to other girls here, it's kind of like, um, oh, I want this, yeah, but he can't have those things. But it's like, if someone else has it, you're like, no, no, you, can't, you have to be fair and kind. Yeah, you know what I mean? What so I, I know that. I know. I know. I know. I'm a girl. I know what other girls are like. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Hypocrites. <laughs> okay. You know, I wanted to have started my own family. Yeah. But like I said, um, you know, I have dated someone with a child. Mm -hmm. It didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it wasn't because they. Why? <laughs> um, we'll find out had a child we were just you know there was other pages. things that happened so no they say it's other things that happened yeah but to be honest i think i don't think she was ready for to be a mom to and that also child. like what people don't understand right is when um as a step person coming into you another person's another child's life right that's yeah. not yours yeah one for for um the the child mm -hmm. to to a new woman that comes in life right you can never see that person as the mother so you no. can't be mothering um, and also, if, if the man wants to go with the 
a woman who has kids, right? That woman is never going to allow that man to give have full control, full control of, yeah. of the kids. So if you're going to have blended family, you're going to have to kind of like assign adopted papers, I think. Yeah. Because if I was to marry a man who's got a kid, then I would have to take his kids as my kids. Yeah. And his ex-girlfriend or ex-wife have to just to be dead. <laughs> no, 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 she has to be gone completely. Because I don't believe in blended families. I mean, I believe in different kind of family. Yeah. But let's, let's carry on. And I wouldn't have guessed that I would have done that. So that's why I say things don't always go as you plan. Okay. You know? Okay. Gotcha. Women don't think like that. We get shamed if we say, you know what, I'm a single man with no kids. I don't want a woman with kids. We get shamed for that. But they don't get shamed if they say, I want to do that six feet, six figures, and I want to have a six inch digging stick. They don't get shamed for that. They get praised for that. Just like, look at the, uh, the, uh, the Anne Marie chick, man. Tory Lanez, quote unquote, did what he did to Meg Thee Stallion. The whole world roared upon it. This chick, uh, <laughs> <laughs> this chick used a weapon and fired it at his head and hit his head. Nobody's saying nothing about it because it shows. I don't know that story. Oh, I was trying to say yeah, there's um, these famous people in America, right? A woman um, fired a shot into a guy's head. Oh, wow. But because, but because she's a woman, right? No one press charges, no one's talking about it. But so what he's trying to say now is that if it was reversed, right, yeah. that man would have been gone. Wow, why? So the woman, I don't know, for whatever reason, fired a gun at his head. I hope she's, in, she's not in jail. No, she, no, no one's talking about it. But we're talking about a famous woman here as well. And a famous. Is um, she a singer? She sounds um, like a singer. I mean. Megan Estalia, yeah, I think she is. She's a. Oh. She's, she's, I think she's an artist. Yeah. I, I don't really know about her, but she. Oh, I don't. She's going to get karma, though. Everyone gets karma, one way or another. You that fam, women do not appreciate or respect us until it's too late. I'm trying to tell y'all right now that is how most women think. They don't care about us right now. They only care about us when it's when it's too late. When it's too late. We got women right now who 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 are like in their forties who still feel like they're the prize. Why? Well, if you <laughs> if you're in your forties, you're not in your prime. Sorry. Oh, no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, oh. come on. <laughs> No, I think he said, yeah, we got we got a woman in the age of 40s, right, that still believe they're the price. Pri no, you're not. Price, price for the, 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 the top level man. No, to... you're not. No, you're not. You can't be having a competition with a 20-year-old. You just can't. They still believe that they, you they can't. Are. Your your body has been worked on. Your, you know, you just, you can't. You can't compare yourself to a, um. you know, you just can't. Fresh flower or... Old flower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there. <no. I'm laughs> right, let's, let's, let's do this. You're the prize. Why are you still single? <laughs> no because you have to claim the prize. <laughs> uh, expectations that you deserve. No one claims you. Quality, but you're not high quality yourself. You bring no value to, you value to the table. You bring no tangibles to the table. It's an oxymoron, bro. That's why you can never believe what a woman tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Hold on, I see you laughing over there. What are your thoughts so far? She's funny, no, because she ain't been yeah. yeah, she's, yeah. I see where he's and coming from, and I'm mm -hmm. trying to understand. Mm -hmm. But. But. There's always a but. <laughs> <laughs> when someone uses but all the time, they always have excuses. Mm. Because after but, it always comes excuse, so. Just I just, his opinion is very one-sided. Okay. Well, what do you Which, mean? Which I mean, what's the other side? Everyone's opinion is one-sided. I yeah. guess you can say, but it's just you can't judge people that you don't know their story, what they've been through. <laughs> it's true. You can't judge people, but do we have the time to listen to your story? <laughs> I mean, okay. First of all, no, we don't. This is this is not social service. <laughs> it's not. This is about like what what somebody likes. They they don't like you. They don't like you. Okay. You can't. You know. If some liking somebody comes from inside, as in like um, it's innate. You just drawn to that person, right? You don't. You're not like you know. Uh, what I'm trying to say is, let's just watch this, and then I probably will be able to. Um, it's. Yeah, so uh, I would give some you know, pushback. Forty year old woman. You don't know what that. <laughs> you don't know what that woman went through. You know. You don't want to know what they're going through. <laughs> when you're 40, no. She's probably gone through so much that you don't want that baggage on your shoulders. Like, come on. I I hear a lot of stories, you know. It's great at storytelling, but you don't want to, like, be 
near them. That's that's true. I, I agree with that that sentiment. But in terms of dating and what I want, I think you can, right? Yes or no? Can what? Judge that person. I guess. So so hold on. So you don't okay, for instance, so you don't you don't look at a person and say, This person has this, so therefore I might not but not from a judgmental place. I'm not right? saying judgment. I'm saying from a, this is like a relationship, like um, they trying to date perspective. Yeah, but I think he's coming from a whole different Oh, so you think he's coming from a different perspective. Okay. Because I understand what you're trying to say, mm-hmm. but I still think he's just coming off very, <laughs> this is what women do, you uh-huh. know, despite mm-hmm. anything that they went through. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, that's all I got. All right. Men learn about women. I mean, we learned about what they want since birth, but it was just the wrong way. We didn't learn about why they do what they do. That's something nobody told us. None of the pastors, none of the kids. I mean, none of the teachers at uh, at school. Nobody at the daycares. None of the fathers. None of the uncles. Maybe some street dudes. Maybe some young, uh, some old OGs. You a little bit wisdom, but you so blue and naive. You don't need believe in. You be like, man, what are you talking about? He say, man, she for the streets, or he give you a definition on what a woman gonna do to you, or he tell you, man, why this chick got male best friends, or why this chick got male friends, why this chick going out, why this chick partying every weekend. But she's like, man, I don't wanna hear that. She just out with her friends, cause you have no understanding on the female, but he does. See, we need more masculine men like that in a society to teach us and put us on game on how these women are. It's not uh, what they need, it's why they do what they do. That is the most important thing. That's what us men need to realize. Why did this woman do what she do? Why is she doing that? What's, what is what is in her brain to make her do that? Hmm. That's very interesting. She's going to ignore me until I'm successful. By the time I'm successful, she's no longer in her prime. I no longer want her. Why does she want me all of a sudden? Why does she say she wants a nice guy? She wants a guy that's going to take care of her and take her out on a dinner date. And, and then when I do these things for her, I don't get the guts. But the guy that does the opposite get the guts. Why? Hold on. <laughs> he brought up a, 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 a point. What are your thoughts on that point? So, I really liked where he was going just now and but, really trying to understand yeah. why she's doing those things, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And so, I just wish it wouldn't just jump to she's just not going to realize until it's too late. Okay. Well, tell me, I mean, tell me what you think. Yeah. It's just, I, I think, stick with being able to sympathize with she's just not there in her journey yet she's not ready i don't understand why she keeps on keeps on going about journey 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 he has a journey he's already there (laughs) so if she can't catch up yet then why should should he wait for her i mean we're not talking about someone you kind of grew up with yeah well went to school with yeah and then you guys loved each other or together for the rest of your life this is different Mm -hmm. usually those works and i love that you know like you were friends and then you went to college together they got married and stayed together you were poor first but then you became rich all together and you had your family that is so beautiful yeah that she can come a long journey you know because she was within all the steps of the success yeah yeah. so but you can't like kind of like have young that's interesting you said that because what he said there is why doesn't the woman want me now? Once when I'm um, rich and successful, now she wants me, but she's no longer in her prime, so I don't yeah. want her now. You see what, what he's trying to get? Yeah, I do actually. Yeah, I do. So he's trying to say, why or why are you not coming along the ride with me now and yeah. seeing me get to this point? Because you're you're already with me, but no, you wanna get um, dug out by all of these um, guys, have your fun, find your soulmate, this and that, but then end up realizing none of them care, care about you like yeah. that. And then when I knock on my door and I'm now this big person. No, because do you know what that looks to me? That's taking that person for granted. And secondly, you're using that person. Exactly. exactly. It's clear. You're using even you're exploring your own journey, yeah. So you do that and then you go, Oh yeah, he's a catch now. Let me go to him. It's kinda like using people. At the end of the day you have to be um you have to filter out rubbish from your life, yeah, but you've got to be kind to people as well, yeah. So if she's not being kind to him in the first place and only kind to him after he has money, then it's not actually fair. It goes both ways as well. We're not talking about, you know. So I guess people should stop, you know, taking th- uh, taking each other for granted, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, I don't really agree with this person. She seems like a nice person, yeah, but she's not telling the truth. And yeah. uh, she's, she's kind of um, embarrassed, you know. <laughs> 
<laughs> very embarrassed. So we know that she's hiding a lot of, you know, she's, yeah, she's not really revealing her t- truth. Yeah. So if you're on your soul journey, shouldn't you reveal your truth? Mm. <laughs> Believe your truth. So she's not living her truth. For okay. what he's trying to give her. Okay. And that might be from how she grew up. It might be from past relationships. You know what I mean? Really trying okay. to understand that, which I felt like he was trying to do for five seconds. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Okay. You don't feel like this is a, a very majority of women thing? I think it's a human thing. Okay. I think it's a human thing. I think it's both sided. He's, you know, obviously, it sounds like he's been hurt. <laughs> and, I, mean, I would agree with what she's saying that he, I think he might have been hurt by someone he loved, yeah, because he comes, his energy comes across like that. I feel mm-hmm. like that. But I actually agree with the points he's saying because, to be honest, I like men who are focused on the goals and just kind of like, you know, I just said that, um, that you, you guys together build your money I, and your I, 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 success. Yeah, I, will say I like that. Thing, though, I will say that I, I will say that um, it's um, a benefit if you go through that stage where you you like this one woman, mm-hmm. but she she broke you. And the reason why I say it's a benefit is because now it makes you become that successful strong yeah. man. Yeah. So so yeah, that's true what you said about that man, right? But what he's saying now is is just facts, though. Okay? It's facts. It's, I mean, what he's saying that he um, now he's got options and he should pick the best option for him. Yeah, since he's and worked on exactly. So much. She hasn't done anything to help him right now. Yeah. yeah. So why should she just kind of like just take you know? Matter of fact, yeah. Why should take it. why should she have it when she she's the one that broke him yeah. and then got um, a bit pregnant by a bunch of bums in the streets? Yeah. And no. now now she wants the prize. No, no, it doesn't work like that. Um, because she it now realizes she needs stability and she ain't financially. Yeah. Paid. So I agree with what you're just saying. Um, it doesn't work like that. Um, I um, mean. Like yeah, if she was there all the you know steps yeah and the hard times and the good times yeah, yeah. it will work really well. I mean then yeah. we wouldn't have a problem if women who were like that to be fair. Um yeah I know but, but um, the I think is is mad. Yeah because yeah I think so but I don't hang out with the mass majority so, so I, I'm very um cautious about who i hang out with because you have to be have you to have to be. be because some of their beliefs can rub onto you and if they have a stupid belief yeah, then they can yeah. really damage yeah. your you know your sense of um self as so well perspective exactly on, on the truth and not on the truth yeah nonsense. but what he's saying is tr- it's fine it's, it's logic sense i worked so hard so i want the best girl you know i don't want she he doesn't want her to have kids yeah and what's so with that? What's, there's nothing wrong with that if there's nothing wrong with that i don't understand i actually know i, I can't understand where he's coming from yeah mm. so i don't know why she's not agreeing with that because fact is that yeah if she was working very hard yeah, and a guy came along yeah and he had tons of kids whatever you didn't think she's just gonna give her money to him no mm. he has to be like level at her level so yeah. why can't he just choose somebody that you know yeah. that he likes so it, uh, yeah but let's finish off this. We're just still waiting on the one. I don't know his uh, story, but uh-huh. that's what it's sounding like. Okay. And so, uh, yeah, I just think it's it's a human thing, not just. Okay, I, I think it's definitely a female thing. No. <laughs> because I don't. Uh, because most men. No, it's not a female thing. It's a their thing, not my thing. <laughs> Yeah, it's not, not every girl is like this girl or the rest. I, I don't like, but you know. No, that's why, that's why if you read it, she said in the video, most girls. Yeah, so I he don't. Leaves out, he leaves, because he said he didn't say every girl, but he said most girls. So there's always that small percentage. Um, it's, yeah. like, it's like, it's like um, when you're watching Kevin Samuels, when he's saying, yeah, if you want the, the man with the six figure plus, then there's yeah. 10%. So it's like, there's that 10% of girls that are not like the rest. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we 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 base it on um, most girls. Like yeah, and I I I, I, I would d- say most girls as well because if you're if you was in my my age group, right, all the girls I know are exactly like this. Yeah, I I don't know. I I just kind of feel like um, the society as a whole is a messed up place, and yeah. sometimes I like to leave in my pink bubble, <laughs> pink top, <laughs> pink bubble. <laughs> Yeah, there's a reason. Oh, yeah. I feel so sorry for society today. And don't have options until they're a little bit later in life. So don't, So even if they wanted to explore and, you know, try to sleep with as many people as they want, 
they can't. They don't have that option to be able to do that in the first place. They have to get on the ground. They have to build up their business or build up, you know, whatever, build up themselves to even be in a position to build up, to have those options. So my question is basically, do you think, what, what is the reason why women do that? Is it just, do you think it's something socially? Do you think it's something just ingrained in them? What do you think? I think it's from past trauma. Hmm. That's, are we listening to psychologists? <laughs> it's like, post trauma. Let me tell you something here. Yeah. We can't judge people, but honestly, like, when I hear people with past trauma, I want to run away from them because mm. it's like I want to help them, but I don't want them to be my friends because I just kind of feel like, it's, even with being friends, I kind of feel like it's too much. Mm. Like, because when you're like working on yourself, you don't really want people with no, bad energy like, around you. Like, and I'm af- like. Yeah, and I'm afraid the person with past trauma, if they haven't worked on themselves, it's like they're carrying this energy that kind of feels, you know, feels very burdened. Yeah. Like, it's like they need to be happy in order for, it's like, it's like like attracts like, yeah. to be honest. And yeah, um, yeah, let's carry on. That's what I think. Okay. From childhood, from relationships, like I said, I just, <laughs> I don't know. There's so many women mm-hmm. that have done the same thing, have been all of the things, mm-hmm. and it wasn't enough for the guy. Yeah, yeah. I and I don't. That. So it's it's the same thing. Okay. So you think it's just like both on both sides. It's kind and of he equal. doesn't realize until it's too late. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. You know why okay. I can agree with that. The reason why I say disagree with that, yeah, because she's saying yeah, there's a lot of girls that done all of that right for the guy, yeah. But this this is this is where the twist side goes. They all done it for the asshole. Ah. Uh. Because they had that nice guy next to them, but they weren't doing it for them. Because if they was. It would have been a happy situation, but because they, they get bored of that beta male simp, oh, uh, you're worshipping me, you love me too much, right? So they gave it all to the guy that didn't give two monkeys about them. But again, majority of girls want to go for oh, that bad boy because he treats them Oh, actually, that. it's true, actually. It's true. I do remember having friends there who get treated badly and they do so much for that bad person. And I look at them like, what's wrong with you? You're so stupid. That guy's not going to ever treat me like that. But he's treating you like that. And I kind of, inside, I'm like laughing my head off. <laughs> Because, yeah. I, because I wouldn't tolerate bad behavior, yeah. but they do it. Yeah. You see, if you if you're a good person, but you're with the wrong guy, yeah, and treats you badly, but you're still cooking for him and being very kind to him, loving him, yeah, you're the stupid person. You yeah, are exactly. downright stupid. It's your it's your fault, you know. So so that's why I disagree with what she said because if she did that to that babe or yeah. the one that really likes her and that. She would she would receive the exact same, but because he's a beta male, she doesn't feel f- um, that sense of security. Like mm. you know, like woman, right? The more stronger the man lo- looks and is, right? That's more appealing to you. The I more agree weaker with it. Yeah. Man is, right? I, I you're agree. Be like, if he moves like a girl and that feminine, oh, gentle, please. Do you know what I mean? It's... If you're a boy watching this, do not move like a girl. <laughs> Please be a guy, like be a man. Like honestly, you'll get so much more respect. Yeah, <laughs> it's exactly true. I will respect it, you as well. Um, yeah. Okay, let's um I think I'm gonna make the next video. <laughs> <laughs> but you want us to come to some point of understanding about the woman. Which understanding do you want? You want the red pill understanding? Do you want the blue pill naive understanding? Or do you want both? So you can know which one works, which one is true. Because both is true. It's just a perception of the matrix. Right? Both true. Both is true. <laughs> it's just a perception of the matrix. Yeah, they need a man that's going to protect them and provide for them. But what's on the other side of that? What's on the other side of that? That's something we got to think about. That's why I'm here putting you guys on game. It's not to dislike them. We don't dislike them. It's to understand the why and the what. You know how you're in school and you have a hard time comprehending? You know how you have a hard time comprehending? Because you don't understand the why and the what. Or should I say the why and the how? You just understand what you're reading. But the why and the how is the hardest questions that you've been getting quizzed on ever since birth. I don't know why. Well, the answer is in the book. Okay. No, it's not. Uh, they in the book. It's just the teacher didn't give it to you from a different perspective. The answers is in the woman's actions. 
It's just the teacher didn't give it to you from a different perspective. He gave you from the blue pill perspective. I'm giving you to the red pill perspective. Right? One, when you're out of position, you're you're dead. Just like I play 2K, I, con I consider myself a comp player in 2K. And I like to run 2-3 zones sometimes. I don't know nothing if about basketball. My so. shooting guard is supposed to be on the right <laughs> side of the floor. And my small four is supposed to be on the left side of the floor. Left corner. I mean, left side, like left wing, right? If he's, if my, if the, uh, the dude I'm playing against swings the ball on the right side of the floor, and my small four, who's supposed to be on the left side of the corner, comes all the way up to the right side of the elbow, I'm going to get dotted. I'm going to get a green bee release in that left corner, and I'm going to get dotted every single time because that is the perspective of good defense. That is what's going to happen. But the why? Why did you get dotted? Because you was out of position. Why are you coming up too close when he's all the way in the corner ready for a green bean release? That's cash all day. Why are you steady taking her out on dinner dates and trying to prove yourself to her when she doesn't even want you? She's letting another guy dig her guts out. <laughs> <laughs> you out of position. You got I kind of feel sorry for the guy because he obviously had bad experience or mm -hmm. he knows bad, you know, girls that were not really nice to him. To be honest, I don't know that many people like that. So um, it's, listening to his story, it's kind of like, I see where he's coming from. I really do. Uh, at the same time, I'm like thinking, wow, he really needs to get out of that neighborhood <laughs> and go somewhere where maybe there's better people. Oh, no, no, he, no, no, he's not, he's not that. He's given a... Uh... He's given an example, so he's using uh, okay. uh, um, like this basketball was... terminology. As... It's the same thing um, if you apply it to a relationship. Okay. So we're trying to say that if you, if I did this in this game, right, okay. and I did the exact same thing in real life, knowing if I went the, the blue pill way, the yeah. male way to this girl, with the, I'm always going to end up with the same results, and that is she's yeah. never going to want me, or she didn't want me from the start, yeah. right? But if I came in from this different perspective, which is the, the red pill, mm -hmm. um, um, perspective then I would have known that from the start okay the way she's moving and this and that she doesn't even want me from the start so yeah. I didn't have to waste my exactly. time exactly so he that's what he's trying to give perspective it, on from but that's what every girl should be doing like yeah, some that, people are just like yeah, that, that's what I mean so that's why I go back and saying right that, that first girl that the guy that really likes right that, that breaks them mm -hmm. the reason why I say yeah, that's a, a big plus for that guy is because now that guy has that massive purpose to make himself so good yeah that when she she's always gonna be watching these movements. Mm -hmm. When she when he's at that point and then she knows that that was one time she could have had that but now she can't have it because that's the greatest revenge. That exactly. <laughs> yeah. So that's why that's why I always say it's a big plus for the man. Every man should go through that one that one woman that he, he really liked but she she didn't like him because he came with the nice guy perspective, the blue 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 pill perspective. But she went for the red the one that treated like a bum and that and she got pregnant by a young age. But now she's living a life full of struggle whilst this guy built himself up to this guy. Because this guy in that video, right? Yeah. He built himself up. Major Good for him. No joke, man. This no. guy's a serious yeah. guy, Major Fox. So, of course, so, now he wants a serious girl, isn't he? Like yeah, so, what, is, so, yeah. now, so now he's trying to teach young, the younger lots, right, from what he learned. that to So, don't make the same mistakes that he did, right? Yeah. But use, understand how the, the nature works of women, the majority. Yeah. And then, then you find yourself the one that's the best for yours your um well, what i mean i actually agree mostly with, with that guy yeah. at, at all i don't see i don't see any like major flaws in what he's saying mm. i don't actually because i would actually be telling that to people as well yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it doesn't make sense you don't to be and she goes on about past trauma so much <laughs> like <laughs> is she a psychology student or something because Must i'm be. telling you she like <laughs> But I'm just saying, if you have past trauma, guys, you need to like sort of deal with it quickly and just get back into life. Yeah, yeah. you can't carry no. your past. You just can't. Don't, don't come. Or don't get into relationships. <laughs> exactly. Don't so get into relationship because you're just making his life a mess or her life a mess. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you no have one to, needs that. Yeah, you need healing. Uh, yeah, no, you need therapy uh, first. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. I oh, got it. She baited you, and you got dotted. Hold on. This brings up a good question. Do you think dating standards have changed in today's? Yes, yeah, so much. <laughs> World. 
dating standards. So meaning like before it was like, let me take you out on a date. We're gonna go have dinner. We're gonna, I'm gonna, you know, pick you up, go have dinner, maybe go. Oh my goodness, I have such a huge, <laughs> so much to say about this one, but I will listen to, to the movies. Now it's just like, hey, come over, let's chill. Absolutely. No, it's hey, let's hook up. <laughs> I mean, it does, I don't like people when they do that. It's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, what? I think that everything is just so social media. Okay. And mm, that's true. which, okay, fine. You meet someone on social media, but I just feel like it's, everything is so quick is what I okay. mean to say when I say social media. Okay. And so, so you mean like, like, there's no like long yeah, term stuff. Instead of taking you out to dinner, it's like, Hey, you want to come over? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, no, can you take me out? And even if it's just coffee, you know what uh -huh. I mean? Okay. Just to establish, like, I'm really trying to get to know you. Okay. And really, you know. So you rather have it like that? You rather have it more traditional than than right oh, now? Oh, absolutely. Okay. And I think as the years go on, it's getting worse and worse. I believe so too. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I agree with that. Probably the most common, the common sense thing this woman said. Right? So yeah, that I totally agree with her. Um, yeah. Now she's making a bit more sense, it's true. <laughs> Lord, of all this 20 something minutes, yeah, this story quick, she made some sense. Uh, well, you know, no, no one would come at her for this one because everyone wants this one. I think well, a lot of people. people come yeah, at her really? Saying, for that? This, in the comments saying, yeah, she, she, she's the exact. What he, the guy in the video was saying, right, she's the exact. Um, she she is it. she is. The thing is, she doesn't seem like a bad person from I'm guessing from her energy. Yeah, I, I don't think yeah. she's a bad person, but she's very. She doesn't. She doesn't realize it. But what he's saying in the video, she actually does. Yeah, right she con She kind of contradicts herself. I mean, like, I just know that she doesn't like. She's not revealing the truth. Yeah. But, yeah, um, but let's not bash her on this video. We're really bash her. <laughs> well, we about to wrap up this video. Oh yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Swing the ball over here. Defense shifts over here. He comes up too close. I swing that uh, all. I swing that. I swing that ball all the way back to the left corner. You got baited because you thought I was going right. I made your defense shift this way. I swung the ball way back that way. Green being released every time. Because you got baited. A man that's not baited, a man uh, baited, a man that's not easily controlled by his emotions is a warrior. You have to be a warrior. Yeah, I like men should be warriors to be yeah. honest. Or kings and warriors. Those they're nice. But they also have to have a good heart as well because that's how you can lead people. And honestly, like, if, I think um, you'll get respect straight away. Yes, yes. Yeah. I mean, I do. I mean, I will respect someone like that. Um, but as long as they have a good heart, everyone has yeah. to have a good heart, then they. But they just have to carry themselves with um, like a man. Well, again, again it goes back to our saying. I, I yeah, think good. You like a strong man. Yeah, I like strong. I really like strong man. But I also like. Every, Everyone with a good heart is, mm. you know, is good to me. Um, good, you know, good person, right? But if you're good, good heart, and you're like weak everywhere else, yeah, it's not good. <laughs> it's like you're a doormat. Even I've got friends who are very uh, kind, but they like get, you know, yeah. taken advantage of. Me. I just want to slap them on the face because I just want to point out that you're asking for it yourself because you're so kind and you're letting people over, you know, step over you. Yeah. I mean, I'm doing it right now because I'm talking to you like this. Yeah. Yeah. You're just taking it. Do you know what I mean? So, um, so it it it's not just one person at fault. It's both. So that's the video for today, fellas. Remember. Okay, I think his overall point with that analogy, or with the overall point with the video in general, is women say one thing, but then they do one thing, do a completely different thing. Do you find that to be true or false? I'm waiting. Must be true. <laughs> um, I, I want to say it's true. Okay. And why? Not always. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I feel like from where he's coming from, it is true because they're just not in the right place to make the right decisions. And I'm, I guess I'm just She's wondering, so this time. video, <laughs> is he just really trying to help out the guys, like take a step back and yeah. not... Yeah. Yeah. So it's just it's just basically she needs to know that no guy is fine someone with sexual trauma or emotional trauma sexy. <laughs> she needs to know we need to tell anybody that I'm going through my journey. No one finds that that attractive. No. 
That's I mean, it's only people who are going through the journey as well. Go, oh, yeah, me too. Let's okay, go together. Well, like, well, like what you said before, right? Yeah, no one's got time for this. <laughs> no one's got time. They stay on a like a mission to find Wait, the right what person. Do you say? No, no, what do you say? No one's got time for your story. No one's got time. It's true. No one's got time for your story unless you go to therapy. <laughs> You're paying to paying somebody to listen to your story. Oh man! Is, <laughs> but um, I don't know. I just feel like she keeps making excuses. She is, she's not being oh, she's not being truly honest. Um, but it's true. What you say is that or a woman. I think you said that um, women do one say one thing and do another yeah. thing. Uh, as a woman, yeah, that's kind of true actually. Because like, the thing is, it's sometimes I don't know about other women, but like, changing my mind is very. I do change mm. my mind. Like you know, because when you're a bit emotional, you kind of do. You know, mm. But that, that's just me. But um, so let me tell you something. Um, I got my hands chemistry done here. Yeah. I was told that I was illogical person, illogical. <laughs> you know, illogical. So things I do, yeah, like I'm not, I'm not gonna make sense. They're very intuitive, yeah. Mm. So there you go. Why some women kind of do say one thing and you know, yeah. and then like do something else, yeah. yeah. It's because we're always changing our mind and we're not as logical as men are. Men are really are left brained. Like yeah. they think in a well, systematic well, way. Well, at least I, the I mean, difference between you and her, right, is that at least you're understanding it. Yeah, well, I do because I know because she I know keeps, where he's coming she keeps from. Trying to debunk it. You know, because you have to own you. Thing is, that's not. It's not. I can say that's a bad thing, but that's something that I know about myself. Yeah, yeah. and something that you know I try to control there because yeah. it doesn't. You want to come across as a very reliable person, right? So if you change your mind all the time, that's not really you know yeah. reliable. So I know like. You have to know yourself a lot, and she doesn't know herself at all because she's not being honest with yeah. us here. Yeah. And what he's saying, I do know what he's trying to say, and I agree with him. Yeah, yeah, um, I do, um, because it's he's. I think what he's saying, I totally agree with him because the thing is, yeah, why waste time um, with somebody who's not gonna like? You know that they kind of wanted your, they want your money now. Yeah. They don't want you. They want yeah. your money, success, and they want to spend the rest of their life in the comfort yeah. they had all the fun they did yeah. they damaged their bodies you know remember yeah. when you have a lot of partners you're actually kind of damaging your body spiritually and you don't realize that you're energetically it's like if you, someone has to look at your soul yeah and she goes on about souls yeah. journey, yeah, they realize your soul is very uh muddy. also um another man can pick up on say if a woman has been with a lot of men yes right? All of their um, previous men's energies are stayed with them because yes. they all shared the body. Exactly. So that that's why ca- what you said about counting bodies. I think yeah. that's really got. I think people have got to stop doing that because it's actually going to harm you in the long run. A lot of the people, a lot of the people I know that had successful marriages here. Yeah, obviously, they're older, yeah, but they've been with one person yeah. the rest of their life, yeah, and they're happy. You know, when you have that one person that's for the rest of your life, really need, you though. do because you just need a life partner. I don't yeah. believe in the soulmate stuff, but I do believe in life partner stuff. Um, yeah, all you need one person. And yeah, you just guys have to have the same values in life yeah, yeah. and work towards the same goal. Yeah, you want a family, make a family. You want to be rich, be rich together. And I don't know why people can't just do that. Stick with one yeah. person like glue. All right, let's finish this video. Yeah, let's finish this video. Letting guys know that women say they want like the nice guy, don't want to take them on dates, respect them, etc., etc. But then they give their best stuff to the assholes or the quote-unquote bad guy. Right. Yeah. So, I think, I think he has a point. You okay. know, if she's giving those signs right now and she's mm-hmm. not ready, then yeah, take a step back and don't give her all the, all the stuff, all, all the, the stuff. You know, uh, okay. and I would say that for girls too. Don't give him all the stuff if he's not. You know, <laughs> he's not ready. Okay, so I get what you're saying. So you saying that at that particular age or point in time in her life, she just might not be ready for the. To mean what she's saying, say what she mean. Right. Um, yeah, she's not being honest. Um, I think you know what. After watching this, I just kind of feel like um, whatever she says, not in my head. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because nothing stood out. Like as in, like nothing. Um, I just kind of feel like. Um, I do agree with the guy though, like you should find that, you know, one person that's really going to be loyal to you. I think at the end of the day, yeah, I think this is for the girls out there. I don't think you should sleep around. You shouldn't count bodies. I think you should stop doing that. Um, I think that you should also stop being with bad boys because they're only with you because you're easy. <laughs> Literally, that's mm. what it is. Because bad boys, assholes, they like you because you're easy. Okay, because they're not going to spend time with you. They don't want to be with you. They want to be with somebody else who can st- actually come onto their level and that they can actually respect. They don't respect you. You're just there. 100%. That's the thing. Yeah. So uh, that's why. So don't give them 
what they don't actually deserve you should and also if you're a beta boy you should probably like um try to be more like warrior like and you'll be more attractive and i also think that people when they go out you shouldn't spend money on each other at first because yeah. thing is you shouldn't a little coffee like one pound coffee you should go for but yeah. i honestly think that um you shouldn't give anything to each other apart from your time your energy because you need to know you need to like each other first do you know what i mean yeah, like I why waste time like that i mean like then you can like if you like each other so much and you guys think you're good together then you can like do what you want like give uh, like, give gifts and stuff like that yeah. take the red pill <laughs> take the red pill yeah